when you get into your Ford, whether it be the popular, the deluxe, or the V8, and drive up hills over bad surfaces, round acute bends, or wherever else the whim takes you, the easy and trouble-free run is just accepted, because you know your Ford will never let you down. That unfailing reliability, however, doesn't just happen, it's planned. And the basis of it is these Johansson gauge blocks, the highest standard of accuracy known to engineering. Their perfect surfaces adhere by merely sliding together, and their accuracy makes it possible to make 160,000 combinations, ranging in tenths of thousandths of an inch. Every Johansson block is periodically checked for wear with a reference block, guaranteed to within two millionths of an inch. For this checking, the blocks are placed on a brook level comparator, on which one millionth of an inch can be estimated. When the Johansson block is found to have worn 12 millionths, it's scrapped. This is accuracy indeed. Johansson blocks are used to check the gauges by which manufactured parts are inspected. This crankshaft snap gauge, like others, is checked to a two thousandth part of an inch every half hour while it's being used on inspection work, in this instance for bearings. To run smoothly, a crankshaft must be balanced, and this machine, the technical details are too involved to explain, ensures the most perfect balance possible. Such smooth running is emphasized by this test, first on a deluxe engine. There's hardly a ripple on the water while the engine is running. Now the V8. When the engine is started, the movement on the surface of the water is almost imperceptible. That means perfect balance. The camshaft of a car is responsible for the movements of the valve, so it must be set correctly. One end has a slot on which depends correct timing in relation to the cam. A Johansson set height gauge checks the position of the slot in relation to the cam to a thousandth of an inch. Another check on the shaft is for concentricity of the bearing, on which true running depends. Then the size of the cams are checked. And finally, the contour of the cam, which determines the opening or closing of valves. Those of you who have ground in valves know the importance of seating, so every valve is checked for run out. With such careful and accurate inspection, it's no wonder that camshaft and valves work in such perfect unison and make the finest music engineers know the sweet running of a perfectly timed engine. Not only on main roads, but up narrow, hilly lanes, the knowledge that your engine is firing in well-tuned rhythm allows you to tackle anything without fear. rods are diamond balls, both ends simultaneously. They are checked on the spot with a Johansson bore indicator before being passed to an inspector who rechecks the big and little ends for size and concentricity. Every part is made to such fine limits they are interchangeable all over the world. Pistons have every diameter, including the piston ring groove, checked to within a ten thousandth part of an inch. And in addition, they must be to within one gram of a predetermined weight. Such high precision work on connecting rods and pistons assists acceleration, the feature of all four. That was the popular, now watch the deluxe. The greatest thrill of all is the V8, which literally leaps away. Accurate engine parts, however, are useless without similar accuracy in the transmission. And accurately mated and noiseless gears 
to transmit power from the engine to the road wheels are essential. This is a main drive gear being cut. And the operation always strikes one as being a very clever engineering operation. Every gear manufactured by Ford is ruthlessly checked with a master gear and the precision demanded ensures maximum efficiency throughout long years of service. The first advantage of these accurately made synchro mesh gears is easy changing from one gear to another. The next advantage is on hills. The popular is climbing single bridge bridle path, which is normally only used by cars in special trials. Gear trouble on this hill would be trouble indeed, but the popular takes the bends and surface like a young thoroughbred. Here's the Deluxe Saloon. There are seven hairpin bends up single bridge. These, with a loose surface, prevent all possibility of climbing at speed, which means that engine and gearbox have to respond readily to quick and varied demands. Now the V8. No matter under what conditions this car is driven, it always does its work with that perfect ease which has made it famous. ladder in Gloucestershire is a wonderful test of sheer hill climbing ability. It's just a rough track on which no attempt has been made to even out the surface. In addition, there's a one in two and a half section which finds any weak spots in a car. This deliberate stop is to demonstrate not only the smooth restart, but the efficient braking. The Deluxe is left in neutral, relying only on the handbrake to hold it. first, brake off, and away she goes, without recoil or hesitation, to the top, a really magnificent performance. Perhaps the most important point in driving is responsive steering. This is dependent on accurate as well as sturdy construction, both characteristics of Ford vehicles. As you can see, the V8 has very little clearance between the posts on either side so that to drive through at speed the steering must be perfect, which, with all due modesty, it is. This test just suited the Deluxe Tourer, which chased over the rough meadow in and out of the post with the speed and sureness of a hare. Confidence in your steering is half the battle indeed. You can't do this sort of thing on the road, but it's comforting to know that you have capable steering in case you should need to swing suddenly. On the road, too, there's a certain joy in taking bends so easily and responsibly. feature of all Ford vehicles is their short turning radius. It avoids the necessity of so much reversing on narrow corners and other places met in the normal running of both passenger and commercial vehicles. We have already mentioned braking, but every driver knows how vital it is for safety. Fords have powerful brakes, 
and the simplicity and sturdiness of their construction are also their reliability. Really effective braking must be smooth, like this. Did you notice the driver's hands up? Watch again. Here's the V8. The Deluxe Tourer had another test similar to the one on Nailsworth Ladder. A stop on a hill, well held by the brakes, and an easy restart. We have already dealt with precision work in connection with Ford engines. For the chassis frame, strength is all important. Cross braked and riveted, Ford frames will stand up to more than the worst conditions they can ever meet in use. Like engine parts, they are inspected. This is to ensure that all the holes line up and next to check the squareness of the frame. Now you can see the effect of sturdy frame used in conjunction with transverse springs. There's not the slightest distortion of the body. Pumps were specially placed to give the greatest unevenness in running. The pictures tell their own story. took a ramp at speed with one set of wheels on the ground. What do you think of this? A popular with eight up, one passenger per horsepower. There were five inside, which brings us to body. In manufacturing Ford bodies, the aims have always been strength and rigidity. The finest British steel is used in the pressings, which are welded into a single hole giving a strength which in a moment you will see vividly demonstrated. Now get ready, the Deluxe is coming. By the way, we were allowed to forget the slow time Isn't it grand? We couldn't find a hump bridge bad enough for the V8, so we built a ramp for it. Here she comes, over the hump, and a perfect landing. The springing absorbs part of the terrific shock as the V8 comes to earth, yet only the finest chassis and body could stand such leaps time after time. Now in slow motion. Doesn't she float through the air with the greatest of ease? See how quickly the V8 writes itself. Time after time the V8 took the ramp. Surely it would be difficult to find a harder test for the strength of every part of the car. Such performance is the direct result of a laboratory in which excellence of material and precision in workmanship are the keynote. Those ideals mean that you can drive your Ford up the steepest of hills, through the narrowest of lanes, and over the worst of surfaces, with the confidence that it will do all you ask of it. In short, wherever there is a wheel grip, the Ford will go.
Just as those have met, so is there a Ford to meet every need. Commercial users demand reliability above all, and many famous manufacturers, such as these, place their faith in Ford vehicles. Where distribution must be to a close time schedule, reliability is of paramount importance. Every Ford vehicle is made to the highest standards of engineering accuracy. They are the results of precision put into practice. 